so it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. I have come on with my winnings from Ambrose Kintyre Crafts. I was very lucky and won first prize. This box is parcel taped to within an inch of its life. Um, so I'm going to pause you while I get into it. But look at the heft of this. It is a big box. You can't see, but uh, I can guarantee it's a big box and it weighs a ton. We're in. It took a bit of effort, but we're in. Um, it weighed 1.8 kilos, so uh, there's a lot of lushness here. Just got a bit of packing. We'll move that out of the way. And then we've got all of this stuff. <gasps> My God! I'm going to put it on the floor, I think, would be the best way to deal with this. And um, we'll deal with things one by one. So, first up on the top of the box is a card. I've already got one of Amber's cards because I won her um, giveaway of her canvas that she did. She's got a lovely um, stamp on the back. But I've got a stamp now, aren't I a lucky girl? And another congratulations card. When I won this, I was so excited. Um, I was watching her do the draw and I was going, paper and twine, paper and twine, paper and twine, paper and twine. And she pulled out my name. It was amazing. Mr. Paper and Twine said I should have done the lottery. Um, yes, beautiful. I like in the, the background, the die cut background. Hi, Ashley. Congrats on winning. I hope you have lots of fun with the goodies. I'm sure I will. Thank you for the support on my channel, Crafty Hugs Amber. That's not a problem, Amber. I really enjoy your channel. You do some amazing things. And I will leave Amber's channel linked down below. Let's see what's in here. I've got some little die cuts. You are my sunshine. That's pretty. Those are nice on ATCs, aren't they? Oh, a little gorgeous... Um, mason jar with some flowers in little circle of flowers daisy be brave forget me nots and a rose those are pretty i shall find a use for those that's for sure put those back in their little pocket pop that there then on top of the box is i had a choice of magazines um and i don't very often buy magazines although i have been a bit bit profligate recently and bought a couple but um i had a choice of this one or i forget what the other one was but i'd seen um several people um open this magazine with this woodland collection and i thought it might go nicely with the stamp area and the graphic 45 collections that i've got and one of the things that um, i've got on my list to do i want to send somebody some happy mail um i want to make them a little album now i've made my little mini journaling album um, following woolly stuff's tutorial i want to make this person a little photo album with a woodland theme for their photos let's have a look and see what's in here come on how'd you come so i think this is eight by eight so we've got 49 die cut toppers 10 printed papers and five foiled papers is it eight by eight let's have a look it is indeed eight by eight so that is lovely just ah, oh, just look at the little bunny and the fox oh and the owl and the deer i think dawn sutton had this and i think she used this or was it lorna callahan i think lorna might have sent dawn an easter card with this bunny on i'm not sure but lots of mother's day things look at the little mouse is it like a little dormouse and you could layer that up couldn't you these aren't my thing really the gold foiling but um you know i can put them in pocket letters or happy mail or you know make cards for the people with them so we've got a repeat of those 
but they are cute images it's the paper that i'm interested in so here's one of the foils a plaid the feathers are lovely and that's lovely the nice quality papers as well that's gorgeous that'd be nice for christmas and that's lovely oh look little bunny nice muted colors got the little dormouse here that is lovely oh he's so cute and you haven't got any repeats of the papers and the owl and the fox look at that so these would be these papers would be nice on the inside of um, this little journal i want to make and the little fawn there and purple plaid so that's lovely i won't go through the magazine i might do that in a separate video but that's something for me to look at later it has gone very dull and quite cold and i'm thinking while the dinner is cooking away today and i might cook i might film cook with me i don't know i might have a bath and read that magazine anyway we have a box full of delight here still look look at this look at all this So this is, um, oh, there's something inside there. Uh, we could choose which of the resin pieces that Amber had made that we wanted. And I said, I didn't mind. Lorna won the second prize. I said, I didn't mind which box I had. So this is like the goldy colored one and it's got um, silver glitter in, inside there. And it's beautiful, really lovely. And inside, We've got some more resin pieces that Amber has made, but look at the depth of that. Go and check out Amber's resin videos. They're very satisfying to watch. We've got a little heart, which is, oh, which is translucent with pink glitter. And then a flower, blue flower with swirls in it. I've only ever used resin for coating my pendants and acrylic pores, so might be something I have to dabble in. And a pink flower, that's lovely. And a lovely little bag, which can be repurposed for something. We'll pop that there. Then we have this. We have this bag. And inside are some flowers. Oh, and lace. I think um, Amber gifted me some of this when um, I won the prize. She sent some extras. But I've seen this on a few people's channel, this kind of rainbow. And you can cut each flower individually or you can have it as a border. So that's useful. We'll pop that back in there. I need to find homes for everything. At the moment, I've carefully put everything into um, the canvas bag that I got gifted as um, one of my prize entries. I think that was from Judith Norfolk, was it? I've had that many entries now, I'm getting confused. So apologies if it wasn't Judith and it was you. There's some flowers. Again, you can cut those individually and they've all got little wires on the back. They're not what I would personally use myself, but again, they'll come in for happy mail. Oh, and washi tape. I do use washi tape. That is a lovely one. Look at that. And a glittery one. So that is lovely. And then inside here, we've got some embroidery floss gorgeous colours there like a mauvey one and a pale green I have got a lot of embroidery floss having done cross stitch since I was 21 and I'm 56 nearly so what's that 35 years so I have got a lot of DMC threads and Ella has stolen one of my wallets of DMC threads um, for her textiles work I'm running out of space everybody and then we've got this lovely book life is a game without a care we aren't caught up in your love affair and we'll never be royals don't know who said that 
but that's a really nice book i won't open it on camera because i can see we're already at nearly 10 minutes but that'll come in very handy i do like a notebook we'll pop that down there with a the magazine um now this was interesting um i'm intrigued by this these are topper cards let's have a little look in here they're kind of i can't get in i'm doing what will make woolly stuff mad i'm going in with my teeth that's got it um i presume these are kind of like atc um sized return to midnight garden hunky dory 54 topper decks Mac magic i'll tell you what i've got these new glasses and i can't see a lot of improvement in my sight um i mean my prescription is all up to date and everything oh these are nice so you get repeats they're very um as you'd expect from hunky dory very sturdy coordinating mirror mats and moonstone dies also available i have got mirror card i'm just looking to see if it says what um gsm it is 300 gsm which you'd expect from hunky dory so you've got three weasels look at the little mice can you see the shimmer on those we've got three of those with the poppies look at the little fox asleep oh these are lovely and then little hedge pig i am partial to a hedge pig and you can't fault hunky jewelry for their designs can you and then we've got the blue tits little fox cubs these um coordinate nicely with the woodland themed um die cut pad but the the mirroring on that is gorgeous then we've got robins my mother-in-law likes robins so i might make her something with one of those and the blue tit again which is one of my favorite birds so you get three of each of these some kind of bird um i don't know what bird that is somebody perhaps tell me in the comments look little baby bunnies another robin they're gorgeous a squirrel and a rabbit squirrel squirrel another one of those birds that we don't know what it is i think that's some kind of finch i don't know the sun's come out again now and another squirrel with a blue tit let's just measure these does it say actually what the measurements are mirror magic board this is so it is slightly bigger than an ATC, but you could cut it down or um, fussy cut elements off it to go onto an ATC. Then we've got frogs, frogs on a lily, pan, lily pad, little ducklings, little moorhen and a swan and a little mouse again. I think it's like a little vole or dormouse type creature oh and a kingfisher that is lovely really lovely i shall be making use of those that's for sure that is for sure put those in their little box to keep them safe go on in you go that's it they're useful aren't they and they don't take up a lot of room which is good because i am running out of room oh and then we've got um some chunky yarn so these will be good for pocket letters and things or um happy mail not enough to knit anything with i don't think <laughs> but i like how she's used packaging to uh, wind them up i've got that many odds and ends of yarn i tell you that's lovely this is all really really gorgeous and then uh, we've got this indigo blue stamp collection that's lovely isn't it big ben when i saw this in the prizes i thought oh i really like the big ben and the lion's nice that'd be nice on atcs yeah it's just the right size look he's there 
and the little flourish and the lady oh and the gentleman he might be good on shrink plastic actually that's lovely that'll go in my stamp collection box i do need more storage for stamps and we've got more stamps this is an amazingly generous giveaway so we've got all these sentiments which are kind of like on a curve lovely snowflakes there have a have a happy christmas and a wonderful new year you're a diamond they can't break you and i love these little ones here oh and you've got little ones down here as well apple blossom this is not a toy and then we've got an embossing folder lovely put those down there got to find places for all of these now this is interesting floral arrangements so you've got kind of like silhouettes and then leaves that doesn't look like it's been used lovely i'm just racing through because i can see that i am already very late and then something i've seen amber do is an altered fan so she's gifted me a fan to have a go myself so it's just plain interesting interesting i have to do some research on pinterest oh pop that there then got more lushness here gosh so in this bag there's some cut apart She promised herself better and never looked back. Look. Oh, keep going off shot. I promise if you keep searching for everything beautiful in this world, you will eventually become it. I think these are hunk out of hunky dory little books, aren't they? And these are um, the Santoro Willow, which um, Diane Cross used in my little mini album that she made me. There's that sultry looking girl. She's rather beautiful, isn't she? definitely find something uh, to do with those we're back to the beginning of those and here are some more of the Santoro cut parts beautiful muted colors um diane used that in my mini album and i think we're back to the beginning on that then we've got a stencil and another stencil and some more cutter parts oh and this tattered lace ornamental torn edge hearts wow there's a lot there one two three four five hearts and two little kind of banner tag bits lovely pop those all back in that bag so i know what came from what this is an amazingly generous giveaway amber really generous and then we've got some i think these are hunky dory papers eight by eight they're sturdy look at that with the butterflies on and the poppies got two of those and that's kind of the same but the pattern's slightly smaller these are nice florals lovely colors and we've got a geometric one butterflies i think i've got this hunky dory butterfly pad more butterflies and these are double-sided what's that one yes they're double-sided I've definitely got this this pad with uh, with those butterflies so that's green on that side lovely then we've got some sentiments which are always very handy aren't they and that's lovely oh look at these little birds 
they're cute and still it goes on still it goes on at the bottom of the box we are at the end now we've got some flowers more flowers more flowers oh acetate flowers yes and they're die cut you just you should be able to just get those out and then we've got some craft paper and some pearlescent silver paper and like an olivey green blue these are all pearlescent a pearly color look at that that's um, a very um, satiny finish and we've got um, gold and then glitter card I think these will come in handy for things I want to make for my Christmas swap the glitter red yellow and black so that is my winnings from Amber's Kintyre Crafts I will uh, link her channel down below if you don't already know her I'm sure that most of you that are crafters that are subscribed to me know Amber already but that is an amazingly generous prize Amber I'm absolutely blown away thank you so much for hosting a lovely giveaway and um, I'll be back soon everybody take care now